Hey everybody, Darth Boy here, and I'm kind of getting back in the habit of uploading old cell phone videos, like just raw videos, whatever mistakes are in the video, they're in the video, I just don't care about editing them. It's not out of uh, concern for quality, that's out of time, so it's easier to just record a video, like, let me explain, it's easier to record a 7 minute video and just straight up upload it than it is to record a video, uh, transfer the file onto the phone to here, then open either Movie Maker or Premiere, but Movie Maker is easier to work with, or it's easier to work with phone files than it is to work with phone files on Premiere, because while um, phone files might lag if they're imported into Movie Maker, and you'll definitely see some lag, the audio will not be out of sync, whereas the phone file in Premiere will be out of sync. So I just explained, I just threw, went through a minute explaining why I'm not uploading video, but it was a reason I wanted to record this, I'm just trying to remember why. I'm trying this, uh, uh, this Coke energy thing, it looks like Coke, but it's a Coke Zero Energy, which is terrible for you, but whatever. I was tempted to get the original, but the original was like 140 calories, and I'm like, fuck that noise. So, I'm trying to remember what the hell I was going to show, but I don't remember right now. I'm going to clean my empty skate today, so, yeah, first time for that, and I'm, it's going to be a little annoying, um, but it's a newer cage, but it's an old cage design that I had for a while, and we had some, uh, some friends come over, so we uh, played Smash, um, uh, we played Smash, and, uh, and what, oh, so I changed the, uh, DVD case to my Empire Strikes Back DVD. Um, to a regular black eco case. I got the case from my from the North by Northwest DVD. That's why the inserts out. Here's the old three disc case. I'm just gonna put this in one of my monitors. Let's screw this because I don't I don't know. Um, I gave away the steel books to my friend. I said I would do that in the previous video, and I did it uh, today. And I put Carrie, the original Carrie, up here because I've got the remake of Carrie from 20. 13. Is this movie that old? Is it really? Is this fucking thing like really almost seven years old? It probably is. Hold on. Let me look at it for myself. Uh, what the fuck? Wait. Yeah, hold on. And that thing just froze up for some fucking reason. Um, yeah, 2013. It's that old. So that is surprising. Sorry about the lag and some little dongle thing dropped. See, dongle. Um, so this is actually easier uh, by comparison. I don't, it kind of looks terrible. I'm sorry, but moto cameras are like that, I guess. So I do like this. I like how this looks a lot. What is it? It's not that bad. Not as bad as the. See the drive one. Maybe the drive one is more fucked up than I realized. Uh, oh, damn it, hold on a second. Fuck. Oh, no. Wait. No. Looks like. Oh, damn it. It looks like it's also starting to. A little bit. Well, if I can't notice it too much, then I'm not. Don't worry about it. But this. Well, maybe hold on. Am I seeing that right? Wait. Now I can't see it. No, it doesn't look like rust. I thought it was wet. Okay, I can't tell if that's rust or if that's just the damn phone fucking with me. I thought it was rust, but now I don't know.
think. Son of a bitch. Great, even the drive one's rusting a little bit. That's great to know. My favorite steelbook in the whole collection. Ugh, fuck. That's disappointing. I was not planning to record that, but whatever. Ugh, that is mildly upsetting to find out. Um. I was talking about the carry thing, but then I got sidetracked. The drive thing really started to rust. <sighs> What's strange love? What's strange? Unfortunately, you know what? It's not as bad as some of the other ones, so maybe it won't build, won't be too too bad. And you know what? I've had that for like five years. If it's in that solid of a condition, five years, that's not that bad. Um, I probably will replace the um, Scott Pilgrim and uh, 300 Steelbooks eventually. I see them for cheap. Uh, so I got rid of my uh, my born steel books. I don't know what I'm going to title this video at all. Uh, I do know I'm tired, and I do know that I got to clean my Hampton's cage today. And it's 1:50, and I got to do some homework as well. So that's why I'm doing some vlogging, I guess. Um, I'm probably not going to upload this directly from the phone. I'm going to put it on my computer, then put it on, then upload it. Uh, so that's mildly annoying, like I said. Um, I'll probably watch Drive soon. So that's fun to know. Um, what's the, what about this one? This one is the newest steelbook I've owned. You know what? I think if you catch it early, it won't fuck it up. Wait, I don't know if I ever went with this one. So. Well, even that's starting to show some stuff. Why did I? This was only five bucks, to be fair. So it's not that big of a loss, but. The other ones were pretty pricey. <sighs> I really love the Leon and Drive one, man. But hey, you know, if it's not too big an issue, I should just stop caring. This is why I stopped collecting steelbooks altogether. And now I'm giving my steelbooks away. So if you're wondering, hey, Darth Bry Boy, what are you doing with your steelbooks? What are the updates with your steelbooks? Well, I'm getting rid of most of them, if not all of them at this point. Why? And by giving them away, I mean giving them away to my friends. We have machines that can play Blu-ray, you know, and who probably won't give a shit like me. Who are less pedantic and easily annoyed. I said, you know, they were annoying, you know, they're rusting. Here, take them. Take them for free. I don't give a shit. It weren't worth, worth a little bit, but not too, too much. Power Ranger one was interesting. That one's three years old. Some of these are dusty because I never watched any of this shit. I haven't watched in years. Um, the only thing I really do care about is the actual media inside. I do wonder about this. Maybe I can, you know what? Here I am. Okay, I'm fucking right here. Here, great fucking idea. Great fucking idea. Here is my great fucking idea.
Blu-ray sets were cheaper, I would get those, but they're not. We got some random shit for the classic era. So, uh, yeah. And eventually I'll get like another little shelving unit and uh, either stack it up here, stack it up here, but that would be annoying to get to like, because if I got another one of these shelves and stacked it up here, right, then I couldn't really, like I couldn't, I'd have to, well, that would just get a pain in the butt. That game just dropped. The only thing Mad Cat did right was little random accessories and that shit. So, I might spray that in. Ugh, why, why should I just... Ugh, this is why I stopped buying steelbooks. But it's annoying. It's really annoying, unfortunately. And this I got. You know, I should probably shoot a blue DVD update. You know, just do like an old-fashioned DVD update. Just not care about editing. Because maybe, maybe it's because it's been 10 years since I've been doing YouTube. I bet in July it'll be 10 years. Uh, that I probably have just stopped caring about certain things over that course of time. Um, because I like making videos. Maybe I don't care as much about the qual like how the quality of the videos turn out as I do about making the video itself. Whatever those videos turn out to be. So, this is a three disc set. Okay, so. You know what's funny? Okay, let's look at something funny. So I haven't I haven't even gotten to the Oldie series yet, and I bought Whitaker's uh, first season. Okay, are we in season twelve right now? Because I know there was like a little movie or special for Whitaker's, but I don't know. Like I'm so far behind on my Doctor Who. It's pathetic. Like the last thing I watched Doctor Who was, was a couple of episodes of this. I think I had another DVD set that I was gonna get rid of, but. I think I got it because this is before I had, um, here, here's some random ass Doctor Who DVD I got it in 2015, I think, yeah, so we got this Dalek set here, and it's good, I think I kept it because it's got a classic, it's got a classic fourth Doctor story on it, so that's the ultimate reason why I kept it, because I don't own that. The other episodes I own on the uh, various four, I own on Blu-ray, so, but that, that six-part thing. Okay, maybe it did go through the video editor, it's okay. Um, uh, what else is there? So, um, yeah, there's some reorganizing I really want to do. Maybe now I want to do it, which is kind of funny. Um, I think because the advantage of getting rid of these steelbooks is that I have more room. I've got way more room now. And I got the fifth born film, which is coming very soon. It is just such a shame. I am very happy I kept this cover and slipcover. Um, despite the slipcover being a bit damaged, I am very happy I kept it. Um, because it has come in handy. You know, it's old, but, you know, at least I have it, so that's what matters. Uh, hmm, holy shit, 14 minutes? Are you kidding me? I've been babbling for 14 fucking minutes. How have I been babbling for almost 15 minutes? Just talking and doing random things. So... The irony is, I probably put this in the video editor. Um, so yeah. It took a while to render, put a little title card, and uh, talk about it. Maybe put another part of it, maybe put another video in here. I'm not going to edit it too much, just a couple of things. But, do I seriously have a... I have a 10 year old calendar in here. Oh my god. I got a 10 year old Marvel calendar just for some random ass reason. Like, why? Uh, with that in mind, uh, live long and prosper. Have a nice day and, uh, 
<sighs> Ignorance is bliss sometimes.